What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, I'm very excited to be bringing you guys a Sylveon team for ranked doubles. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. We're closing in on 15,000 subscribers. So I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who has supported me as a content creator. I can't believe we're about to reach this milestone. And it's all because of you guys. So seriously, huge shout out to all the viewers, all the subscribers, and everybody who just tunes in and watches. Again, it just goes a long way. I can't thank you guys enough. But uh, let's get started here in the top left corner with today's team preview. We have the one and only Shadow Rider Calyx, but as one of Ability, alongside with the spell tag as its item we got astral barrage for stab move pollen puff for coverage and for healing ally pokemon we also have substitute so we can set up a substitute with this calyx and then we got protect for our fourth and final move second pokemon on squad is going to be yabelta over here with foul play sky attack sucker punch and protect so it's a physical attack in yabelta with the life orb and the dark war as its ability. so this pokemon is going to be great in dynamax form it's going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of damage Middle left is going to be Assault Vest Reg. So this team is super cool. It's got a bunch of Pokemon using different items, different uh, like tactics instead of the normal, you know, Shadow Rider Calyrex with his moveset, normal Yvelta with his moveset, normal Regilecki. It has some meta Pokemon, but it's rocking some off meta movesets. We got Transistor, Assault Vest, like I said, for Regilecki. And then we got Wild Charge, Bounce, Extreme Speed for first turn priority, and e Web for speed control. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Cinderace over here with Liberio and the Focus Hatch. It's got Pyro Ball, it's got High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch, and Protect. And then he has all stab moves because, you know, its ability allows it to change its typing every time it uses a different typing move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Blastoise over here with the Rain Dish and the Citrus Berry. It's got Fake Out for Flinches, Water Spout for Heavy Stab Damage, Icy Wind for Speed Control and Coverage, and last but not least, Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the reason I picked this team. It's going to be Sylveon over here. And I haven't used Sylveon in probably over a year. It really has fallen off ever since, like, new Pokemon came into the, uh, into the meta. And, uh, when they changed up rules and stuff, it really has just fallen off. But this Pokemon used to be really good back in the day. So I'm glad I got, got ourselves a Sylveon team. And hopefully we can grab some wins with it. It's got Pixelate alongside with the Pixie Plate as an item. And it's got Hyper Voice, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Safeguard to protect ally Pokemon from, uh, what is it, status conditions. And then last but not least, we got Protect for our fourth Pokemon. Guys, if you want to write this code for yourself, the route code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Sylveon team. Battle number one coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Yvelta and Solgaleo team that also features Incineroar, Regilecki, Tapu Fini, and G-Max Lapras. I definitely want to get Sylveon out of this battle because I'm just super excited to use it, but how should I play this one? How should I lead it? I could end up leading Shadow Rider Calyx, but I can definitely see him leading Yvelta at the same time. So Regilecki would not be bad here. I kind of like the Regilecki and the Sylveon combo. Kind of get a lead here. Regilecki just does work on a lot of them. So, yeah, let's go Regilecki. Let's get Sylveon out here. Bring my Spell Tag Calyrex in the back end. I want to see his thing's speed. It's probably maxed out on speed because it doesn't have Focus Ash, right? It's got to be maxed out on speed. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's maxed out on speed. And then with the Timmy Nature as well. And then uh, I want to bring Yvelta here. Yvelta might be our Dynamax Pokemon. It just seems to work really well here. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yeah, we have the Yvelta to uh, pair up fairly well up against that uh, Togelio. It also has foul play, but we're probably going to Dynamax to get more with that. But I really do like our lead of Regilecki and uh, Sylveon here. Because I can E-Web take speed control. I can do some big damage with Wild Charge. I can also yawn put Pokemon to sleep. I just think I have a lot of different options which I can go into. And he's going to end up leading, uh, okay, Yvelta and Incineroar. Which I'm kind of cool with. I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with that. And I wonder what he's going to do here. I think I can just protect him. Oh, no. I'm a soul vest. I could die. I could Dynamax Reggie. I could Dynamax Reggie here. What do I want to do here? I just want to eat web. Or I can go into a wild charge here. Because wild charge wouldn't be bad. And then a hyper voice across the board. Or I can throw a yawn that slot. But I think he is going to fake me out. And I can take a little bit of speed. I think I'm just going to yawn this slot. And then I'm going to go for a little bit of e speed control here. Because he might swap out. Not going to lie. He might swap the Yvelta. That Regilecki on the field. Or he might even protect it. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. e going to come through here. And he is not even going to fake out. He's not faking out this turn. So maybe he thought I was protecting. Let's see what, he, let's see what he's going to do here. Maybe Sylveon can be faster than Yvelta at this point. I know it's definitely faster than that Incineroar. And it is beautiful. So we get off a nice little yawn to get a start here. I probably should have popped the Hyper Boys. It'd be like that. I bet that sometimes. He's going to end up snarling. That's totally fine. Special attack drop is going to come across the board. That's not a bad play by him, but I might just wild charge and uh, 
get after that thing. Hmm. What do I do here? He's gonna, oh, double storm. Hey! Not cool. Not cool. Not cool one bit. Um, okay. He's gonna double snarl. Uh, I could swap Regilecki, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of swapping Regilecki into, uh, my physical attacking Yvelta here. And get rolling with that. I do like that. So, you know, I'm gonna do that. And then I might just pop a Hyper Boys. See how much damage we can do. I know we're minus two, but I think he swaps to Yvelta, right? If not, Yvelta goes to sleep. And then we have a physical attacker on the board, which is strong. But he might party shot with Incineroar, which could be tough for us. Definitely could be tough for us. He's going to withdraw his Yvelta. So Yvelta's going to get the uh, change. I should have yawned in that slot. Which could be nice, but I'm totally cool with this because, you know, we have our Soul Galley out. Or not our Soul Galley out. We have our Yvelta out. So Hyper Voice is going to poke here. It's not going to do too much damage. Did a little bit of damage on that Incineroar. And this thing is just going to party shot into... God dang it, man. God dang it. Into this slot. So I'm, I'm now sitting minus one, but I still feel like the Dynamax is going to be called because he does not know we're physical attacking. He probably thinks we're special attacking. He probably thinks we're special attacking. And at this point, he's going to throw out Yvelta. And yeah, I'm going to straight up Dynamax. And I think I'm just going to take some speed and yawn into the Soul Galley at this point. What do I yawn to the Yvelta here? Because I have to Dynamax here. I have to get rolling with this. I could lower special defense, which wouldn't be bad. Or I could take speed. What do I want to do here? Let me see your speed, Sylveon. What's your speed chilling at? Yeah, that's a nice HP. That's really good HP. What is your speed? 106. So it's not going to be faster than uh, Solgaleo or Yavalta. Unless I, uh... Unless I, what's it called? Airstream, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Airstream and I'm just going to yawn onto the Solgaleo a lot. That's going to be my play. Let's see what he does here. So yeah, we're going to Dynamax. Let's get buzzing with this. Let's get buzzing. Even though I'm minus one on attack, I can still do a decent amount of damage with the Dark Reward out on the field. But I want the speed boost first, and then I just want to start putting him to sleep on. I'm with this, because we still have our Calyrex in the back. We know Calyrex can do some big damage if I can get rid of the Velta. I, 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 just think we're, I just think we're sitting in a good position. Unless he swaps into Incineroar, but I highly doubt he's got, he got. He does not know that I'm physical attacking on the uh, Velta. So he's going to Dynamax. Is that Solgaleo? I wonder. Or is it going to be his Yvelta? It's going to be Solgaleo. So we can get off a big time Yawn here. Big time Yawn can come out here. Big time Yawn. So I think Solgaleo just goes for that defensive boost. Right? Is that going to be his play? Probably. But we're going to be able to get off a Yawn, which is just... So Airstream comes out here. We're going to take a speed boost. I'm, I'm guessing he's going for the Seal Spike to take out uh, Sylveon. But as long as I can get off this Yawn, we, we should be sitting fine here. Yawn, come on. Get out there, Yawn. Love you. Yawn out and about. Beautiful. Unless it's rocking a uh, electric move, which it could. It definitely could. He's going to snarl. That's totally fine. Again, he thinks I'm special attacking when I'm really special attacking. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that all day. We have some speed. He's going to go for the steel spike. He is going to take the defense boost. That's going to help him out. Oh, and he's not going to take on Silvali. Or not Silvali. Why do I keep calling him Silvali? <laughs> Sylveon. He's not going to take out Sylveon here. So the Yawn's poking. Um... I could obviously guard. But at this point, I think I just airstream and maybe just swap you into Calyrex at this point. Do I swap him into Calyrex? Do I, get, do I get rid of you? What do I do? Or do I stay in here and hyper boost? The minus three. I don't really like the minus three. We go Regilek here. At this point, I wouldn't need speed if I'm swapping out. I'd rather just get that special defense boot or drop. So I think Max Darkness can take you out. I think Max Darkness can take him out. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a Max Darkness into the slot. And I'm just gonna swap my into my Regilecki at this point. I'll swap into my Regi here. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. So we swap for uh Sylveon. And we're gonna get moving. Yeah, this is a solid first battle so far. He's gonna withdraw Yvelta. So Yvelta's gonna get swapped. We have a heavy move coming in here. Top of Finney's gonna get the swap. So the Finster is going to get the swap here. He's bringing out the Misty Surge. So Misty Surge coming out and about. I wonder what Solgaleo is doing. Is he guarding? There's no way. Oh, no. It, it went into that to stop the... Uh, to stop the sleep. Okay. So Darkness is going to fire. And it's going to be not very effective. But, again, on top of that, we have Regilecki out on the field. Which is solid. Which is solid. So hopefully Regilecki doesn't die. Let's see what what's called once we go for here. He's going to go for a Rock Fall. So he's going to go for a takeout here. I don't think this takes me out. I think we're able to soak this all day. We do. And we should be able to eat up. Oh, can we eat up a Buffet? We're Dynamax, so it's going to do a bigger chunk. That's a little scary. That's a little scary. Can we eat up one? Just one? Just one? Eat this up. Eat this up. 
Eat this up. We do eat it up. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we eat it up on three. Um, at this point, I just got to go into a... Uh, I just got to go try to take out the uh, Sogalio. And then just like eat web across the board, right? I really do like where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. With this. I'm going to do that. And I think I'm just going to wild charge for the KO on the Finny. I might play. He might swap into Incineroar. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this all day. Let's see how he plays this. Is he going to guard? He's going to protect the Finny. He is going to protect the Finny. We are going to get a nice, uh, nice, lovely max darkness off on the Solgaleo. But I think he picks up the double kill here, which is a little scary. This comes out here. That's probably going to proc his policy. We're going to go down to Buffets, and I think he goes after Regilecki. Actually, Life Orb just takes it out regardless. So he is automatically getting right for Regilecki. So yeah, Regilecki's dead. Uh, still like where we're sitting. Really like where we're sitting with this with our Calyrex in the back. I think like our Calyrex made up this battle pretty well. And then we still have Sylveon to take care of that Yabelto. I do. I really like where we're sitting. He's gonna take a special defense boost, which is a little scary. But his Dynamax turns are over. Is that correct? Right? He rock falled. Yeah, he steel spiked and then he quaked. So I feel like Calyrex can really clean up this battle. I really do feel like that that is a possibility here. I really do feel like that's a possibility. So Kalish can come out here. Buffets are flying, but again, we're not uh We're not what's it called though. We're not focus ash, so the buffets aren't gonna take off our focus ash. And he's actually not plus one. Well at least the Solgelio is not plus one. Actually they're both not plus one because we hit him with a special defense a drop on the max darkness. So they're both even on the board, so I feel like Calyrex can really just rip through both of these guys. Good old Calyrex, dude. Good old Cali. Good old Cali. No berries are allowed here. We got the pixie plate rolling. I could set up a safeguard, but it's really not going to do anything. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. Oh, yeah. Astro Barrage got a poke here. Should be able to take out Solgaleo. And then I'm just going to hyper voice across the board. Just so we can try to finish off the Finny on top of that. The double hitting moves coming out. Yo, this battle is coming out in the wire. This is a solid first battle. We had some good swaps, good, good protects. Our opponent had the same thing. This is a solid battle. It's going to come down to the wire. But yeah, my... Uh, my Calyrex should be able to pick up a KO and go plus one on the board. And it's going to be fastest for the rest of the match. And he can't be faked out by Incineroar, which is huge. That's why Calyrex is so deadly. Like, that ghost typing is ridiculous on a Pokemon this strong. Like, it can't be faked out. Cannot be faked out. He's going to end up protecting Solgaleo. I think we should be thriving here. And we should be able to pick up the double kill. Astrobot is going to poke. And Sucker Punch is the thing that we got to watch out for. Sucker Punch is what we got to watch out for. So we're going to drop that. Tapu Fini does go down, which is huge. And, yeah, the problem here is going to be Sucker Punch. If he brings out Yvelta, I think I just have to protect and Hyper Voice across the board. But we'll see. We'll see. Because, yeah, Sucker Punch will take us out. We don't have a Sash. We do not have a Focus Sash. We do not have a Focus Sash. And Yvelta took a little bit of damage, didn't it? Can we chip it up a little bit already? I think we did. He's going to go into the Yvelta. It's got to be Rocket Sucker Punch. And yeah. Okay. We already chipped it up a little bit. Already chipped it up a little bit. So at this point, I could just set up a sub. Because say he protects. I think sub's going to be your play. And if he goes for Sucker Punch. Oh, dude. I really like that turn. I really like that turn. I really like the sub up. He's going to go for Sucker Punch. Beautiful. Beautiful. We get up a substitute. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. I totally forgot we had substitute, so when I saw it, I was just like, just like, yeah, we gotta send it. Okay, so now we're sitting here. He's gonna take out my, uh, my Sylveon. The good thing we didn't protect, because if we would have protected that turn, he could have just sucker punched the next turn and, uh, taken us out. So now we have a fighting chance. Because we know we'll take out Solgaleo all day. We know Solgaleo's dead for this. We know Sogalio's dead in this, but maybe not Yvelta. I know we are plus one, which is huge. But I think I think Yvelta goes out here too. We have the spell tag. We have the spell tag for the one point. I think it's a 1.2 times multiplier to, for ghost moves. So that's really powerful. That's really powerful. Come on, yo. Clutch this one up. So is gonna protect. I don't mind you protecting So yeah, I really do not mind. So you going for sucker punch, take off my my sub. He does. He does. So if we don't pick up this KO, we lose. Actually, we could uh we could, what's it called? We could always protect that buff. It's just get after it. So Astro Barrage is going to poke. He's going to get blocked by Solgaleo. And this should take out Yvelta and put us at plus two on the board. Take him out. Get out of here. 
Let's go, yo. Calyrex coming in clutch. He has Incineroar left. We're sitting plus two. Um, he can't fake me out. I just think I have to drop another Astro Barrage at this point. Wait, it's, it's, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. Unnerves on the field too, so he can't eat berries. So if his Incineroar is rocking a berry, he can't eat it. But our only problem with Incineroar is uh, if it gets off a hit onto us, which I don't think it's going to be able to. Because it does have a dark move, it can it is gonna be super effective to take me out, but I just I just see us absolutely just ripping into him here. I don't know, it's gonna be kinda close. I'm gonna go for it. We have to go for it. There's no other option. Ashabash comes out here. So Galio is definitely dead. Can we take out Incineroar for the win? We're plus two. We're plus two with the spell tag. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Calyrex coming in clutch in Baladon 1. Sylveon also was doing some clutch things, dropping the yawns, doing some damage with Hyper Voice. But yo, this Calyrex, top tier. What a way to get this video started with that clutch substitute from Calyrex. I could just went into a protect, but I saw a substitute and I was just like, dude, we have to sub up. And if we did not use that sub there, we definitely would have lost that battle. So perfect plays by Jeans. And we grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But we're hopping into our second battle. And we're going up against a really cool team. He's got Venusaur Sableye with uh, probably the Sunny Day Sableye. And then he has the Regiramp, Landorus, Zacian, and Defiant. Thunders. We do not have any Intimidate Pokemon, so I'm not going to have to worry about that Defiant popping. But still, it's a very strong team all around, and he might lead the Sun combo. He might go into the Sun combo, which makes me want to lead Yveltal. I feel like Yveltal could be just like a solid lead all around. We could Dynamax him off the rip. We can get a lot of damage going with him. But Landers is an Intimidate Pokemon, which is kind of scary. Landers does have Intimidate. So I could actually go Blastoids. I could, yeah, I could actually go Blastoids. Good event, or I could potentially Dynamax Blastoids here. What do I want to do? Hmm. Bro, 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 what do I want to do? Um. Hmm. I do not know what I want to do. I guess we'll go these two. You know, we'll go Cinderace for a lead. We'll bring uh, Calyrex in the back end, and then last but not least, Regilek, he's just always solid. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I, I'm, I was really not sure of what Pokemon I should pick because I, I felt like Blastoids could have been a good lead. I feel like Sylveon could have did some work too. Regilecki's always solid. I just feel like this team has a lot of different options, especially up against a team that we're versing in this battle. I could not really decide too well, but I'll take my lead. I'll take my lead all day. It's not bad. It's not bad. So let's see who he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading Sableye and Lando. And we're going to end up leading our lovely little Yvelta, who is now minus one, and Cinderace. So Intimidate's really doing his dirty. Intimidate's really doing us dirty, and he doesn't even know it. He doesn't even know it. Because he probably thinks my Yvelt is special pack. He's, he, he's all about the physical side today. He's all about the physical. And he's probably going to uh, end up Dynamaxing that Pokemon. He's probably going to end up uh, Dynamaxing. Hmm. Sky Attack? I just want to straight up Sky Attack. I mean, we have some speed already buzzing. I might just foul play. And then just Pyro Ball across the board. Good Pyro Ball on the Sableye. Uh, Sableye does have Fake Out, doesn't it? Hmm. He's going to Dynamax land though, which is kind of scary. Um, I want to change my typing here. I feel like he's going for a ground move, so I'm going to change my typing. Yeah, yeah he's going to Dynamax. He's going to go for the Quake. He's going to go for the Quake, obviously. Right, no doubt my mind goes for the quick. So if I can change up typing here and be able to eat up a shot, I feel like that should be good for us. And then we can get off potentially another turn. The Cinderace should be faster than Landorus if it does not go for an air streamer. Let's see. Let's see how this one plays out here. But yeah, tough lead for us. Really tough lead for us. Sucker Punch can come through here. I gotta change my typing. But yeah, we out of here. We changed our typing. I wish I did have like a four. I would have did. The Willow is gonna come through here and yes sir, yo, it does not affect my Yvelta because you're prank stern and Foul Play's gonna poke through here and do a ridiculous amount of damage. So is he going for the Quake? No, he goes for the Airstream. Little biscuit. He goes for the Airstream and we have the Focus Ash. We have the Focus Ash. So I don't think we were eating up a Quake, but he is gonna take speed. I could double sucker punch down. Might have to be my play. <laughs> Just double sucker punch, get rid of both of them. And then I have uh Reg Lecky to Dynamax in the back end. I can even go in him, but Dynamax Reg Lecky would be better, especially because we have a Soul Vest. Um, I'm going to double Sucker Punch. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Just in case one Sucker Punch doesn't kill, I'd rather double. Hey! 
He guard it. He guard it. We <laughs> were double sucker punching. We were double sucker punching. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Will Lewis gonna foul play me? Okay. That's actually fine. I don't mind that. I do not mind that because Reg like oh we could have quash. Which could be a problem. We could have quash. Hmm. What do I want to do here? He could have quash, and quash could be super bad. Super smart. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here. I might just protect my Calyrex here. I think I'm gonna have to protect my Cali, man. This is tough. This is tough. I mean, the thing is, I don't think he can take on my Yveltal. I don't think he can take on my Yveltal. So going into a foul play is probably a safe play. And then just protecting your... Probably my probably my other play. Because I don't want him taking taking me out here. Or quashing me and then going from there. I'm just going to protect. He's going to end up withdrawing Lando. Okay. He straight up just withdraws Lando. He's, he's not dealing with it. He'll save his Intimidate. He's going to go out into Res Ram. So Res Ram's going to get the, uh, the go here. And what's Sableye going for? We're going to be able to get off a nice little foul play. I'm going to protect my Cali, and hopefully Sableye's just going after my Calyrex at this point. I do wonder what he's doing. Foul play's poking in hot. Right. And it's doing a fairly good amount of damage. Almost half. Almost half. Foul play's going to come in here, and we block it. So that's a big time block. That's a big time block. Okay, cool. So at this point, just sky attack, and then have this uh, Astro Barrage finish off that Regiram. Yeah, I'm gonna save my Dynamax for Regilecki. Our only problem would be Quash here, but I don't think I don't think he's gonna go for a Quash. I think he's like dead set on going for foul plays. So a solid protect from us. We, we blocked that foul play, which I think we might be able to eat up. Like we're special attack, and foul play is only good up against physical attackers. And he's just gonna hard swap the restaurant. He's in a tough spot here. He's gonna go into Lando. He's gonna go into Lando, and dude, that's totally fine. I'm really cool with this turn. I'm really, really cool with this turn. I am really cool with this turn. Even though my Yabelta is now minus two, my Calyrex is plus one. So <laughs> that's huge. Yo, Calyrex is going to be ripping. That oh, I was going to say, is he going to be plus two? Because I thought Sableye was going to die. But Sky Attack's going to come out here, dude. We are thriving here. I got Regilecki in the back end, who I'm going to Dynamax. And we're just going to use out Yabelta until he's, he's gone. We cloaked ourselves. We're Sky Attacking. We're dipping. We're out of here. I should have just used Foul Play. But it's all good. He's going to end up Foul Playing me. That was kind of dumb, Jeans. Yeah, he should just he should just Foul Played. We should have just foul play. It's all good. I think we're thriving here. I really do think we're thriving here. We bring out Regilecki. We have our Dynamax. Landorus is gone. Who else does he have on the field? He has Regiram. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. That was a dumb play, but I'm cool with this. Reggie's coming out here. Let's let's pop the Dynamax here. Zassian's going to come out here. Good thing we're faster than Zassian. Good thing we're faster than Zassian. A Blade could rip into us. A Blade is scary, dude. The blade is definitely scary. Are you maxed out on special attack? You better be. If you're not maxed out on special attack, I want you to go home. Let's see. He's not. Oh, is this a physical attack? It's a physical attack. Hmm. This thing's just quick, but I'm still going to Dynamax him. I could bounce and dodge a move here. And then Dynamax. But nah, we're just going to trade up Dynamax. We're going to get after you. We are going to get after you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is actually rather scary. I mean, I have, I have foul play. I do have foul play. Why would it just... Oh, wow, we could have just won this battle easily if I didn't go into a sky attack. I don't know why I thought sky attack. When I clicked it, I don't know why I thought it was a single turn move. <laughs> it's base 140. It's obviously a double turn move. But Behemoth Blade probably takes me out one shot. It's going to quash me. Mm, that's real ugly. That's real ugly. Can we eat up this blade? Can we eat up this blade, please? Probably not. Probably not, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna hope that we can. Can we eat up this blade, please? Probably not, right? <gasps> we ate it. It's big place. It's big place. It's big place. Cause sky attack's poking here. Sky attack coming in hot. I mean, that, dude, that move looks so sick. <laughs> it looks so sick. <laughs> it looks so sick. We ate up that blade. It's gorgeous. Lightning's gonna fly through. You can't quash me anymore. The build, and we do about half damage. So that's huge. We have speed on him all day. 253 speed. 253 speed. That's ridiculous. Let's see who he goes into here. Or is that his final? Or is this his final mod? I think he has one more, right? We have one more. Regiram, Lando. Oh, no. This is last. 
I know he saw his res ramp. I totally forgot. Okay, so he can protect and go after me. Uh, could be his play. I mean, at this point, I think I just go into a foul play onto you because I know foul play could take you out. And I just, uh, not max lightning. I could max strike and slow everybody down. Good airstream. We'll do more damage. Both the same. They both do the same thing. I'm gonna airstream on this because I think Zassi might protect. And if Zassi doesn't protect, we just get off of foul play. Yep, Zassi protect. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So airstream's gonna boost your speed, which is beautiful. Tip up some damage. Not pick up the KO, but Red Stream's probably gonna pick up the KO onto my Red Lucky. And if it doesn't, we're fine. But I feel like we can still win this battle regardless. Because that speed boost is just so big for us. Gonna, we're gonna go for a foul play. It's gonna get blocked. And what's he going for? He's going for Earth Power. That's gonna take me out of there. So see you later, Red Lucky. 2v1 situation now. Wow, dude. We could have won this battle so easily. If I did not go into a Sky Attack okay. onto that save by. Alright. So now we're sitting here. Um, I have speed, I believe, right? I should be faster than you. Plus one speed. And what's your speed normally? What's your speed normally? Should be like 160 something? 160 on the news. Okay. Uh, do we outspeed? I think we should. I think we do. I think we do. So, I am just going to go into a foul play and finish you off. And then take out the Res Ram next turn. Because I don't think Res Ram can take us out one turn. We have to outspeed, though. That's the only way we win. That's the only way we win. I don't think Res Ram can take me out. I know Zassi can come with a play rough all day. He's going to end up going for double protect. It does not work. Beautiful foul play is going to fly. I'm going to say bye bye to you. And we just got to be able to soak here. We just have to be able to soak. And then we got GG's in the bag. We just have to soak. We just have to soak. Let's see what he does. He's going to go. Oh, Draco. It's my KO. It's my KO me. It does, dude. No way. No way. I'm a little upset we lost that one, but that one's on me. Definitely shouldn't have went shouldn't have went into the sky attack, but hey, one and one. Let's hop into our third and final battle and grab ourselves a winning record. Check out the team we're going up against in battle number three. We're going up against a really cool trick room team. He's got the Calyrex, he's got the Mimikyu to set the trick room. He's also rocking Kyogre, but then he has three absolute bangers. He's got Galarian Articuno, Hatterene, who I love, and then he's got Heatran, who you never see in Sword and Shield. So, gonna be cool to go up against a few of these Pokemon. How should I lead this one? How should I play it? I feel like leading maybe Sylveon? I don't know. I don't know. What, what should I do here? I could go into Yvelta. Yvelta's really good with the sucker punches and all that. So, uh, I could actually lead you. I could lead you, and I could lead... Oh, and I could lead Regilecki. I like this lead right here. I think this is a gorgeous lead for us. He has no fake out mons. Mimikyu might be his trick room setter. I like this lead for us. Bring in both of those. Bring in Sylveon, and then let's roll out with you. Right? Cannot go wrong with that. And I gotta bring Sylveon, because, you know, we, we're, we're probably never gonna use Sylveon again until Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out. Because they're not changing the rule set or anything, or, or the, uh, the season. So, Sylveon... This might be the last time I see you. Until Scarlet and Violet, because you know, we're definitely gonna be in that game. There's no shot they do not bring Eevees. I think Eevees have been in every game, right? Right? Yeah, they had they, they, they they're in every game, so it's just like they, the Eevees are coming, they're gonna be in the rank scene. It's gonna be a lot of fun to use them. It is going to be a lot of fun to use them. Well, let's see who this person ends up leading. He's gonna go Kai Ogre and Mimikyu. So at this point, E Web, Astro Barrage. Of course. Of course. Of course, E-Web, Astrobosh, send it, send it, send it. Slow him down, do some big damage. Let's do it. Let's do it. We also have Unnerved, so no berries loud. So not not even one berry is loud. Not even one. So yeah, I'm just going to go Astrobosh. Super effective. I think this should be GG's, right? Because the best part about this is Red Lucky goes first, so he takes off the disguise first. And then, you know, Calyrex can just... And he's going to end up Dynamax. This is his plan. Not a bad play. Not a bad play. But if Mimikyu doesn't protect here, he's going to die. Unless he's Dynamax and Mimikyu. But I think he's Dynamax and Ogre. Yeah. Tiger's going to get Dynamax. Okay. So not a bad play. But a lot of Mimikyu's do not rock protect. They rock a Trick Room, will o -Wisp, Shadow Sneak, and like play rough. So I'll be surprised if his Mimikyu's ripping with protect. See, he's not. Cool. So e going to fly here. We chip up damage. We're going to uh, lower their speed. Mimikyu's definitely dead here. Which is really good because uh, I'd rather him not go trick him. Is that, is that WP? Is that WP? Weak this policy. What you mean? <laughs> that thing's weak this policy. That thing's weak this policy. That's wild. That is wild. Astrobot's going to fly. We'll say bye-bye to Mimikyu. We'll go plus one on attack. And I wonder who he's taking out. 
He's probably taking out my Regilecki if I had to guess, right? Which I'd rather him take out my Regilecki at this point. If not, I'm going to Dynamax my Reggie. I'm going to get after it. He's going to Geyser. Who's gone? Who's dying here? Who's dying? Calyrex. Dang it. The Calyrex is gone. That's totally fine. I think I just Dynamax my Regilecki at this point. I get rolling from there. And bring out Yveltal on top of that? Yveltal could come out here. Or, or I could straight up Yon here. But he might protect you. Um, I do have a Soul Fest, which is really good. But uh, let's save our Sylveon. Let's save our Sylveon. We're going to go into uh, Yveltal here. And we'll see who he, wants, who he wants to throw out. Which might be... Might be uh, what's it called? Cali. No, it's going to be Hatterene. Hatterene's definitely a little scary. Dark Aurora's out and about. Uh, Hatterene is definitely scary. Good Sky Attack and, and Dip. Hmm. Does this dodge? No, I don't think he dodges. I might protect you and just Dynamax. I go for a Lightning here. That's going to be my play because I think Lightning should be able to take him out. Lightning could do some big old damage. Some big old damage. But this, this, uh, this much like over here isn't me. Crazy amount of damage. It's here a little bit bulkier. It's here for a nice little speed control. But like, in this instance, I really want to Dynamax and get out this guy over here. Cause this Kyogre is a problem. It's it's weakness policy proc. It's it's ready to rip. And we're gonna protect her Yvelta. And is he not max guarding? I hope not. It's not. So Lightning's gonna fly here. How much damage are we gonna do? Take him out, please. Let's go. Big time KO. Big time KO. I'm surprised he didn't guard. I really am. Knowing that Regilecki's on the field. Maybe he thought I was Dynamaxing you, Belthal. But Red's like he gets that Dynamax, he picks up a big time KO, taking out his Dynamax Pokemon. And now we're sitting here with Hatterene, who, if I had to guess, is going. Oh, he could be going for Trick Room. Clone could be going. Oh, no. No, no, no. I do have Sucker Punch. I do have Sucker Punch, which might have to come out here. This Glacial Lance is not looking so hot. It's not looking hot. Not not one bit. He's going to go into Calyrex here. And we still have Sylveon in the back end, but, you know, the Trick Room is out. Trick Room is out and about. So yeah, I'm gonna drop a sucker punch. I could double down the Calyrex. Too. But I think I should just go into the max lighting and just get some damage off on Hatterene. See how this one's gonna play because I think this one's gonna come back and I think this thing's gonna hit us so hard. I'm gonna end up going for sucker punch. How much damage am I doing? Good chunk, dude. If we can survive a, a turn here, which I don't I don't think we can because Glacial Lance is gonna come in hot. We're dead, aren't we? Yvelta's definitely dead. I do have extreme speed. So, my plus to, like, extreme speed. Well, do we think we can pick up a KO with extreme speed? What the HP's at? I think we're gonna have to go for that. That's, like, our only play. Waste out my Dynamax turns. Lightning comes out here. Is this thing sashed, or are we picking up KO? It is sashed. Are you kidding me? It's sashed, dude. Okay. Hmm. He's Grim Nate boosted, which is just a problem. So, what I'm thinking here is protect, protect. Come out of Dynamax form, extreme speed, the hope, the KO onto the uh, the Calyrex, and then <laughs> and then win the battle. But the only way we win this battle is if this uh, we don't have guard. Oh my God, we don't have guard. We're assault vested. I forgot. That hurts the soul. All right. New plan. New plan. Sylveon, clutch it up. Eat up the shots and win us the match. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's go, Sylvia. I need you here. Gleam's gonna fire. Can we eat that gleam? Come on, yo. I need him to eat this glacial lance. Eat this. No, dude. No. God dang it, Sylveon. Not even a turn in the third and final battle, but we got one and two for today's video. Should have went two and one for today's video. And if we had max guard, we definitely would have had a shot at winning this third battle. This Sylveon Series 12 team is super, super powerful. You got the Yvelta with the Life Orb. You got the Spell Tag Calyrex. Then you got Reg Lackey, Cinderace, and Blastoids. What more can you want? We went 1-2 and two for today's video. I definitely feel like we should have won more battles because this team is really, really strong. So if you guys want to rent this team and push some high tier master tier, get after it. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.